Hello people, Jay Lee here. Completely botched because I forgot to actually turn the mic on, but who cares? Here we go. I'm unfunny anyways, and I forgot to set the rally point, so nothing has changed. Okay, so this mission is one of the missions you can choose from, and from this mission you get more orders. There, well, very strong units. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in big bada boom hardware. Sorry, I really wanted to drink my rum. It's Sunday, I need it. Best time there is. Let the marauders loose against Hey, Lori. Lori's fun. Lori. So, marauders are supposed to be good against armored units but to be honest they're pretty much good against anything because one of their upgrades provide you with basically mass slow which is pretty pretty strong because it's splash if I forget to build another supply depot and got supply blocked shame on me Anyways, how are you people? That one spamming person who's watching me, I really appreciate you. And yes, I'm not single, so I'm so sorry. My audience is my wife. Well, does that make you my wife? Is that how that works? I'm so confused. Anyways, this mission you have to get here before Zerg reaches. Well, here. And basically, you have to go through the same Protoss defense. Protoss is like elders from. Just a moment, I'm gonna change the hot. So I changed the thing. What it basically does is just that it changes your hotkey group to zero, which makes your life easier by. Well. If you have to, if you put it on zero to select control group zero, you actually have to move your hand all the way over to where zero is, and for RTS that's really bad. But once you put it on control group zero, and I s assigned it to Q, which means that I barely have to move anything. I just have to press Q, and normally for RTS, you want your hand to be in the same spot pretty much all the time. Because it's already hard to micro and do everything else. <coughs> Anyways, also the side mission object is to get those good old Protoss relics for some reason. And Marauders are a bit beefier than Marines. But in this case, I suck at micro so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, if you use Steam, you get this little, little thunder effect and your marine starts attacking fire at the cost of health. Health is very irrelevant because your medics basically heal your units. And yes, I'm microing terribly. So if I actually microed correctly, most of this would have been alive. Hey. Who needs micro if you're playing in hard? Anyways, take the relic, go back to the base. And I'm probably gonna go for about three of the... Speaking of which, are the hard... Dic this high uh, hard difficulty does upgrade the units a bit. So on normal difficulty these units wouldn't be upgraded. But for the hard I think only armor is upgraded. And I assume for very hard difficulty, if I remember correctly, would be both units. Okay, I'm gonna change the hotkeys again because I did it wrong. And here we go. So now I assigned it to the key that's next to that little squiggly mark that you have. Did I lose this mission? 
Because I'm an idiot. Possible. And also I changed the hotkeys again. Sorry about that, me. Because you audience don't have to suffer from this because you probably aren't watching this or I edited this out. But anyways, I changed the marine to... So build marine is normally A, but I also assigned it to S. And in that way you can just spam A and S together really fast to just basically spam building. And obviously I'm gonna get the attack upgrade first. If it was facing Protoss, I think you build both at the same you upgrade same at the same time. But hey, since it's campaign it doesn't really matter and what have I done? And People have lots of different control group settings. Mine is normally five, you have all the barracks. And actually five, I have factories and so advanced unit buildings and barracks is normally at zero, which is assigned to that squiggly key next to one. And what that basically does, it just makes life easier for me. Kaboom, baby. And in Korean StarCraft scene, Marauders are for some reason called Bulgom, which is which is a Korean term for a grizzly bear, I think. I don't think why they're called that, but it kind of makes sense. Maybe Black Bear is more appropriate, but I don't know. It kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't. Okay, why am I keep assigning that to something else? Oh, did I mess up something again? Hotkeys, control group. Maybe I... Ah, that's why, okay. So what I've done accidentally is... Even though I lost a lot of marines doing that, I needed to do that because otherwise sentries are basically keep going to keep using force fields, which is that little wall, wall thing you just saw there. And while that's up, my units can't move through it. It's really OP skill and leather, but not so much in, well, normal campaign games. Mostly because AI is stupid. Oh shit. Ah, I actually didn't know you, they made banelings. So those are banelings. They just like to explode and kill your units. Can be extremely annoying, but hey. I didn't even know they actually built those in, in hard difficulty. I thought they were only up in normal. Guess I was wrong. But they do ex they actually do huge amount of damage to buildings as well as your light units, which is SCVs and Marines. And Marauders would be a bit tankier against it. So. Fun thing about Protoss, if you kill the pylons, which is this li little crystal here, it has a little power grid that doesn't show up, but if you destroy that, the whole building just powers down, just like in real life. Your entire neighborhood is powered by this little crystals that you see somewhere. Some hippies house. Additional supply depots required. And did I? Shame on me. Shame on me twice. Ring the bell. So yeah, supply being supply blocked is the biggest. Well, it's not the biggest sign of noob. So there are two main signs of noobness, which is not using your resources and being supply blocked. If you wanna be good at any RTS, if you can fix those two, 
micro doesn't matter much unless unless you're actually not attacking the enemy units it's basically like Rome Rome actually sucked at fighting till they were good at it but they got really good at it by lo keep losing but they had enough macro to actually build enough army every time they lost that's the whole strength of Rome Anyways, very minor reference for my... And fun thing, SCVs can actually repair your buildings. And if you just put them there and set them to patrol, they're basically gonna repair the buildings by themselves. Which is very handy dandy. Anyways, you can see that while I'm talking and actually doing the mission, you just saw that my <laughs> supply is gonna buy a crazy amount. And normally, if if they had sentries here and they just continued five sentries and they just continued s spamming force fields, it would be impossible to beat the mission. And since they actually know it, they don't do it to me. I think I've got the. Uh, I need one more relic. I think it's over here. -ish. Okay, this one to and probably on normal difficulty I'm I can definitely beat the just kill the Zerg base to win and attack from the other side. I actually think I did that once when I was playing this for the second time a few years ago. Present day J. Lee is just lazy. Lazy piece of crap. Who has a dead end job and trying to get out by succeeding on YouTube? <laughs> Anyways, Zerg is almost there, but so am I. Let's finish off this mission. I think they actually used force field here as well, look at that. But luckily. My marines have same range as stalkers and for some reason marauders actually have bigger range than marines. They have range of 6 whereas marines have range of 5. Which means that even though my marauders are actually tankier than my marines, they, they actually stand in front of the marine. I mean behind the marine so instead of tanking they they let the marines tanks where marines only have 45 hp so they tie really fast so if you're actually skilled at micro you would actually do well enough to move the marauders in front of your marines but hey that's just for the skilled players not like me yes lori Pick up that artifact for me. We got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. Renor. I forgot. Renor. Quetal. I won't make that I don't know, Ray. Rainer sounds like a Latino name for some reason. I'm 100% wrong, but hey. Anyways, that was the mission. You got fat chunk of money. And another good old cutscene. I don't remember saying that. So interesting thing about marine machine guns, if you actually look at the way the marine Armor, the space, the space marine suit is designed. They actually aren't your hands; they are attached to your hand, and it further extends into an, a, a bigger arm. So, is there really a point of having a trigger on your funny, gun I rather think. than? I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't recall giving you access to our database. 
Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Ah, the <laughs> textures. <laughs> textures hurt me. I'm gonna give a credit though to for 2009 graphics. It's really good. They were close once. So close. Jim was like. Kerrigan, I'm gonna kill you for killing my best buddy Phoenix and not so best friend Edmund Duke who... Well, I'm still gonna kill you. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing. Foreshadowing. Well, that's pretty much it for mission four, I think. Oh, more cutscenes. I mean, the idea of Tychus hacking is just very interesting. And considering he is wearing that suit and he is using that biggest blizzard hands to actually type something into one of those consoles which should be made for normal human hands just adds into hilarity that is StarCraft 2. I mean if you want to see oversight hands and those shoulder armor things Blizzard has. Play Diablo and cutscenes. I think StarCraft 2 hands are a bit mild. I mean, that dude has a normal hand, so I don't even know who he is. Oh, he's the Merc guy. What is Mai Tai? Someone explained to me. I think I drank it once, but I don't know what's in it. Is, does it have rum in it? So I like rum. I like Diplomatico. Even though they people say they are too, many, too much added sweetness, I still like it. Oh, so this these are the mercenaries. So they're just better version of your normal units. For example, this is the better version of Marines. And other than like one other mercenary which is gonna come into play later this is the like only mercenary you need ever in this campaign rest is just a joke anyways that's it people if you are indeed watching thank you for watching and more to come as always <laughs>